Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about another leak that is coming from Microsoft and it's possibly a leak to the next version of Windows 11 or who knows, maybe another version of Windows could be released in the next few years. So as you all know, Microsoft is doing certain events, live events where they showcase new features, new devices, and sometimes in these events, accidentally or not, Microsoft is showing screenshots or videos of certain features that we don't know about yet. and uh, features that are pretty interesting in my opinion. In this video, I'm going to show you a screenshot from an event that took place a few days ago from Microsoft. And we're going to talk about a few things, a few interesting things that we can encounter in that screenshot. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about different Windows 11 leaks or other leaks, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's continue with the video. So I have the screenshot here. I'm going to open it and show it to you. This is the screenshot that we saw from Microsoft and this section of their event, they were showcasing some new features regarding the Microsoft Teams and the presentation things and so on. But as you can notice, first thing is a floating taskbar at the bottom of the screen. We have a floating taskbar. If you are all on this channel, I showed you in a video how to create this effect using a third party app, but maybe this means that we will have this also by default on Windows 11. And I think it looks interesting, even though a lot of users are accusing Microsoft of copying Mac OS, but I don't think that's a bad thing because the design is pretty nice and the floating taskbar looks really good. But what's interesting is that we no longer have a clock and also no quick settings, no system tray icons. I, that's pretty weird if you ask me, but maybe this is the design that we will encounter if we have a second monitor connected or something like that. Who knows? Also, the taskbar looks kind of designed for the monitors. So I think we're talking about a touch optimized taskbar, right? here because also as you can see the icons from the taskbar are a little bit more distance from each other and bigger in my opinion which is interesting now a second thing that we can notice is a top search bar or a search box that we can encounter here at the top of the screen we had in windows 11 certain glimpses of this thing with a desktop search box that you could enable but this is a top search way smaller and way more compact and here i'm not sure what we have i think this will be the search highlights this icon here and maybe here some tabs or some search history I'm not really sure but most likely these are things that we will encounter mostly on touch devices because if you look also on the minimize maximize and close buttons of the screen these are designed for the touch devices now also as you can see the widgets seem to be moved at the top with a transparent background and only text and an icon and here at the top we have the clock the quick settings with the battery as you can see and also I think this is the system tree icons or brightness. I'm not really sure. So this design that Microsoft leaked here accidentally or not, as I've said, looks really nice. But I think there's a long way to this design because this could most likely be a concept from Microsoft. Maybe this doesn't even exist at the moment. Most likely this is a concept. But if they showed it officially on their event, maybe this could be a thing in the near future, maybe in a few years or something like that. And as I've talked with other users, this could also be a thing maybe in a next version of Windows, maybe Windows 12 or something, but um, these are huge steps until then. But all around, I think these are good news that Microsoft is working on new ideas, new implementations, and um, I can't lie, I'm uh, liking them so far. And of course, we're going to have to wait and see what Microsoft is bringing us in the near future. If you want to check out the screenshot yourself, you're going to have the screenshot and the article below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.